Hello, grade three and grade four. I hope you're all doing well. We've reached the end of our unit on perimeter and area, and it's Friday. So we are going to move into our next unit on transformational geometry. The first thing to do with transformational geometry is we are going to work with coordinates and grids. You can think of this just like a map. And in order to do this, we have to be able to locate um, objects or places on a, on a grid and when we do this um, it will it'll be just like a perimeter grid only now we'll have pictures on the grid uh, instead of just little figures so I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean when I say this um, so you can see exactly what I mean So what you're looking at right now is a picture of a map of Peely Island. And on this map, you can see the grid pretty much has a letter L. And the bottom of the grid has the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. And the, the, letter, the vertical line of the letter L has the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So if we wanted to locate anything in our map of Peely Island, we could say, I could ask you where the airport was, and you could see that the airport is right here where the airplane is. So when we have to give coordinates, we have to give two things. We have to give where it's located horizontally and where it's located vertically. So horizontally, it is in square C going across, and vertically, it's in square five going up. So C five. So we would, our coordinates would be C five. So on this map, it says each square across the bottom is labeled with a letter. Each square along the side is labeled with a number. To locate any square, we would use a letter and a number. These are known as coordinates. The lighthouse, for example, it says is at E8. So if I went across to E and up 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I would find Peely Island's lighthouse. Victoria Road, it says, goes from C5 to C6. If I go across to C, up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there's Victoria Road. And it does go from C5 to C6. It goes up two lengths. This is the work that you will be doing um, today. You will be doing a treasure map that I will be providing you with. You will get a treasure map and then I will give you five or seven or eight items actually on the treasure map. And you will have to tell me the coordinates starting with the letter and the number. I hope you have fun.